Hi everybody, it's Mike, Pro Steel Products. Uh, just wanted to give a quick release here. Uh, the time is now. Uh, we just got these uh, completed, ironed out with everything I'm happy with. Uh, these bar doors, I call them uh, door gates. Uh, if you've never rode your KRX without the doors on, what a different experience this is going to be for you. Uh, taking them doors off is a pain in the butt. You ought to do it at least once. I'm going to give a fix for that to make these quick change. I actually have three products that I did. These doors, uh, well, actually four, but, uh, well, even more than that. <laughs> anyway, these doors are getting released, uh, getting a load of steel probably in midweek uh, coming up. And we have all the fixtures built, uh, ready to go. Uh, this is on a pre-order, so you get a discounted price on the website. That's the pre-order price. Uh, and we do have a list already. Uh, we're going to fill those first. Uh, right now, the lead time is two, at least two weeks. So if you're looking for a set of these, uh, we have different options to where you can make your actual KRX doors quick, quick disconnects, where you can take the doors off and go riding. Uh, I'm going to try and list all the benefits for these. Uh, the, the negatives are probably this small and the benefits are probably this big. Uh, the list goes on. Uh, to, uh, I'll never put my doors in the summertime. I'm not putting my doors back on. I'm using these. And uh, there's a lot of things that I'm going to talk about. Uh, I'm going to try and list on the website. But these have a... a a nice latch, a cam latch with a stop. This will be powder coated when you get it. Uh, it works with your stock bumper. Uh, quick release. They do not rattle uh, because that rubber will keep pressure on there, so it doesn't uh, so it doesn't rattle. Uh, the, the, I got a bushing kit that I'm happy with after doing a lot of research. Uh, let me talk about the doors first and I'll get to that, plus the steel pins that I'm using. But there is no movement on this, and they shut really nice. Now, these are pre-drilled uh, with four on the bottom, threads, nut certs, four on the top, where you can, uh, it's not available yet, but I'm working on it. It's going to be a decorative cutout to where you can cut anything in it. Uh, whatever powder coating you want, it's going to be in it. Uh, or you could just leave it like that and ride it like that. I mean, it's it's not a big deal. But if you have the stereo system, you know in the stock doors you have a speaker in there. So right now I am, uh, well, next week I'm going to start working on a pod that will bolt right into here. And bring it up a little bit so it gets away from your knee. Because a lot of people complained about the speaker rubbing on their knee. These doors will open it up a lot farther. Uh, I got it so in case you're on a on a branch or something or a sapling, it's not going to catch this quarter panel. And in, in one of my videos on my Facebook page, Pro Steel Products, uh, I talked about this plastic, and it's a, a flat area, so you want to go over top of that so you don't tear your quarter fender apart. You know, I've tried to think of everything, trying to get it uh, to where it's. Uh, and these have a stop on them. So same as the, the regular doors, they'll go about 90 degrees, stop, and just give them a slam and they'll shut, and they'll stay shut. So uh, the pin system, these, these all come uh, uh, with the black textured. Uh, it's a really durable black. Uh, I like it a lot. And all of them are going to be this color, and the decorative insert, you can change the color. Uh, to anything you want like I said now let me uh, let me see I got everything covered on that but these are going to be quick release pins all right let's talk about the bushings and the pins uh, these bushings that I have I had these made I did a lot of research these are bearing grade bronze not the brass ones that you get I'm going to list it on the website I did all my research I took screenshots of all the information that I got uh, but these are just a little bit longer than the hole, and I'm going to show you how to set these in permanently. Well, not permanently, but so they don't fall out. So when you're changing the doors out, you don't have to worry about uh, 
dropping these because there's a little crack down in here that thing will fall right in there and that's when I decided to put everything on hold try and find a fix for it I did uh, that's uh, the system that I put these in with and I'm going with patents now I've, I've applied for patents so uh, you know maybe Kawasaki will, will pay attention maybe they'll buy the patent off me if, <laughs> yeah, you never know but uh, that'll stop a lot of the copycats from it too but the pin system uh, stainless steel pins I'm going to explain that to you because some of you might not be aware of it but that is also a patent pending product uh, so these bushings are available uh, I'm going to put them on the website I have these made for me and uh, uh, they're going to be available also if they're on the website they're available uh, large orders of these so they might fall behind a little bit a few days hopefully everything will, will iron out uh, the stainless steel pins I build in-house uh, I'm going to explain those to you right now let me see if I can move this over and get a better view of the pins all right guys uh, these are the pins if you notice they have a tab on them uh, I want to explain why <laughs> you know Kawasaki I hope you're paying attention to this but uh, all your door bounce a lot of the guys uh, you know you put bushings on the machine side but not the door side uh, that's pin to steel and I don't know why they did that because if that pin stays stationary and you're opening and shutting the door this pin is wearing on the door side hinge and has nothing to do with the bushings on the machine side so I don't know why they did that a lot of guys are talking about their holes getting loose on their doors and that is the reason why because that pin does not move in unison with the door hinge so with that tab it locks on the back side of this hinge and when you open the door it will move with the door and put all the wear points on them bronze bushings minor bronze uh, there's plastic in there to begin with that is actually junk I think but uh, the bronze I went with it's a little bit more money but it's a lot a uh, uh, lot more durable and I did all the research with like I said I'll put it on the website but these pins of stainless steel I make them here I bend these to make it lock and I'll show you on a on a stock door how they lock in behind the hinge on the stock doors also so you won't be wearing out your stock doors either even with this system but down here below you see a, a pin that you just pull out okay it's a hairpin that's what holds your door on and this what makes it uh, quick release because you just pull these pins out there's one on the bottom okay and don't lose these but that now your door is ready to come off it's just so simple uh, you know even your stock doors I'm going to show you in a minute the stock doors once I get this off but once you pull them two pins off it's pretty easy you just unlatch the door to where it'll move a little bit and then just gently pull up as you're turning and it will work its way up okay once it falls out of the bottom then you're good to go just pop your pins out okay now that was a little stuck you want them to fit tight so they don't make any noise but uh, that's a little bit of the powder coating got in there so uh, Here's your stainless steel pins with the tabs and the holes for the uh, the quick pins. Now these bushings are in there. Okay, let me set this down so I don't scratch it. So these bronze bushings are in there. Uh, I got a system. I'm going to put a video out of how to do this so they don't fall out. Because if they do fall out, they will go in that crack and you'll never find it again so these pins I'm going to show you on a stock door and I'm going to have a video of how to cut the plastic and if you if you know uh, and if, if you're taking the doors off and you're going to go ride and just put the pin back in and now you won't lose the pin just leave it in there okay so uh, 
when you put your pins back in, put the cotter pin, cotter uh, hairpin, so it doesn't fall out, and your pins will always be there. So let me take you over to the stock door, and I'll show you. Now these are set. I mean that's that's a perfect setup. I mean, quick change, take that door off in a minute, uh, seconds, and put this door on real easy. Now over here I got a stock door that I have sitting here. Okay, here's your stock door, and you notice there's no bushings in there, and that's uh, that's where a lot of the guys are having problems because this pin will turn inside there and wear this out. Okay, so this will eliminate it. This will turn with the door, so you're not having any friction on these, and it's all going to be on that bronze bushing. So you know I'm a fan of not altering your machine, but these are such a pain in the butt to take apart. And you have them little C clips. This is a hairpin, real quick, easy, fast. This is a patent pending object that fixes all this. Okay, so once you stick this in and you set your door on, I recommend using a needle nose pliers to hang on to the end of it to get it started. Then you're going to put it in there and you see how that goes. Now you cannot turn that pin. So you're not going to have any wear on this hinge. Okay, put your cotter key or hairpin in there and you're good to go. Do the top the same way. Uh, easy peasy and, and eliminate the wear. Plus, you can take these off in seconds. I mean, just pull the pins, lift up on the door, take the pins out, and your door's off. And you won't have to worry about uh, uh, taking all those panels apart or anything. So they just slide right in there and they do not move. They lock on the back side of that. So hopefully uh, that's in the, uh, the view of the camera there. So I'll check it before I post it. But anyway, that's, uh, that's that. And uh, you know, this thing will not move. So that eliminates that wear point and it puts it all on that bronze and once you learn about the bronze versus brass uh, you might want to go with the bronze but uh, I hear the brass is holding up but I went with the better one it's a little more expensive but uh, after the research I wanted to do my own thing and that's what I come up with so these pins we make inside we're gonna have these four a set of four with the pins to where you can just slide them in your machine and I recommend cutting this out because this door is a pain in the butt to take apart. So, okay, uh, we'll talk about something else here in a minute. Okay, as the, the making of this video, uh, these inserts are not available yet, but they're coming. Uh, they just bolt in with stainless steel and... Uh, you can get these in any color you want. You can get anything put in it that you want. And uh, uh, it adds a, adds a lot of character to your machine. You do not have to buy these. That's why I'm selling them separate. Some people may just want the bars. And uh, you can also add accessories like a cup holder just by using them access points to mount something. I'm going to come out with a bunch of stuff. When people make suggestions like, hey, I want a cup holder up here. And say, all right, I'll build it. And then... Put it on, you just bolt it in. So uh, that's the cutout. It'll be available soon. Uh, custom ones, there'll be an extra fee for custom work because you know my time is money. So <laughs> I'm sure you understand that. But I'm going to have a bunch of these that are pre made that you can just put in the cart as a discount. And uh, I'll do some flags. I, I love flags. So, you know, uh, just anything that I can think up. And I'll put it in there, and I'll put it on the website. So uh, that's about it. Hopefully, uh, you know, these will go pretty smooth, and uh, uh, these are just an awesome, awesome idea. Nobody has them on there. I was the first. So as far as I know, uh, I've been searching. Nobody has anything, an aftermarket door or anything. They do the skins and everything, but not the door gates. So... Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Everybody, happy Easter. This is Easter. Hopefully, it's posted today. If not, it'll be 1st of April or something. But, uh, okay, guys, hope to see you on the trail soon.